Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been about a month since I've posted. Yeah, I've just really haven't had a lot of time to get back here and make a video. Hensley turned two, I've been dealing with school, and now I'm finally on a little break. So today I decided that I had enough time and I'm gonna do the Tarte Shape Tape versus the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm gonna do one on this side and one on this side, and then I'm gonna come back probably towards, like this is a, the Camo Concealer is a 16 hour wear concealer and I've Googled so much and I can't find anything on what the hour wear is on the Shape Tape. So what I'm gonna do is, I obviously never wear makeup for 16 hours. That would be crazy. So it is, it's 11 o'clock right now, 11 a.m. So probably, I don't know, I have a lot to do today. So probably around, nine or ten I'll come back on and I'll film you know like which one's holding up better which one's like creasing or maybe they're both gonna do the same thing that's what I'm hoping because the Tarte Shape Tape is $27 and the Camo Concealer I think is four dollars at the most it's five so that's a pretty big price difference so if they do the exact same thing I will be thrilled because I love the Shape Tape and I'm hoping I love this concealer because if I do not have to keep buying a $27 concealer, who wouldn't stop? We are going to go ahead and we're going to go in and set this. I am going to go in with my AOA setting powder and this is in the shade where is it? Brightening. So now we are going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape and I am going to blend that in again with my Morphe sponge and set it with the same AOA setting powder. Guys, okay, so I'm going to keep letting this bake. And we're gonna go ahead and do my contour, my eyes. Yeah, and then I'm gonna come back at the very end. We're gonna dust this off and we're gonna see what we're working with. I'm pretty sure that the e.l.f. is gonna win for right now. It might crease and look terrible by the end of the day. I'm not sure because that'll really tell me. Like if my crease comes back, I gotta stay with the shape tape. But if the e.l.f. works throughout the day and I have no like fine lines or creases, we're good. And goodbye Tarte Shape Tape. I am going to move on to e.l.f. for the rest of my life. Okay, so give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and fix my face. Bye. Okay guys, so I just went ahead, did my eyes, did a little bit of contour, and I'm getting ready to take this setting powder off. So I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. face tool, like fluffy brush. This is just what I use to get all of my baking off. I mean, so far I'm really loving that, and that is the elf side. And let's go ahead and do the Tarte Shape Tape side. So yeah, I don't really know. It looks the exact same to me. I can't really feel a difference now. Like when I put it on, yes, the Tarte Shape Tape felt more heavy and thick. So, I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. It is currently 10.05 p.m. I've had this makeup on for like almost 12 hours because I put it on, it was like 11 o'clock and I left here at like 11.40. So really, it's almost been about 12 hours. Okay, so if I had to pick a winner between the Tarte Shape Tape and the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, I'm definitely going with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer because it is literally $4, you guys, $4. And it did the exact same thing with my $27 concealer. And it's been 11 hours. Same result. So, and I feel like the way this went on, it was so much more lightweight and still the same amount of coverage. Like... Literally, this is the winner. This is what you need in your life. Tarte Shape Tape, get lost. Elf, hello.
I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm gonna pick that up after this. I'm gonna have to use the rest of it because it was, it was really expensive. But I'm definitely never gonna repurchase it. I'm gonna keep repurchasing the e.l.f. camo concealer. So yes, this is the winner. Okay guys, make sure y'all enter the giveaways and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.